Welcome to Maroolan Country, New South Wales is the scene of round two. The rxoz.com.au Australian Rallycross Championship. Coverage today of two-wheel drive action and it features a pitch battle between two fast Ford Escorts driven by Will Orders and Mike Conway. There's some new names in the field though, including young Kiwi Sloan Cox. Let's catch up with our international visitor. Hi, I'm Sloane Cox, I'm 26 years old and I'm from Rotorua, New Zealand in the North Island. I'm here at round two of the RX Oz Championship and the awesome front wheel drive fiesta here. I've come to RX Oz because I'm currently doing the RX Academy across in Finland, driving a front wheel drive Renault Clio. In my past I've driven four wheel drive so I need to get a bit more skills in these front wheel drive cars. So Justin contacted me after the round one across in uh, Sweden and asked if I wanted to come across here and do this brand new track here and get some more front-wheel drive practice. So here I am and I'm loving it so far. I'm definitely feeling more comfortable in front-wheel drive cars now. Slightly different to how the Renault handles, but again, it's front-wheel drive, so that's important. I'm used to four-wheel drive, so I'm learning heaps. Definitely beneficial. Biggest thing for me is when to put power down in a front-wheel drive car and not let it understeer. So I'm learning heaps and definitely worthwhile coming across here. My background in motorsport is rallying. I started at club events at 12 and at 15 doing rallies all over New Zealand. This year I've chosen to convert my skills across to rallycross and try and make a career out of rallycross. I've seen it developing and I love the sport so I thought this is the year to go to Europe and make a career out of it and hopefully in the future be there full time driving in Europe and hopefully be a champion over there. Yeah, if you want to keep in touch on what I'm doing, all the events I'm doing or the awesome stuff we do in New Zealand, I'm on Facebook and Instagram under Sloan Cox Motorsport. So make sure you head across to Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Give me a like and keep posting all the awesome stuff I get up to all over the world. Two heat racing and we kick off with the under 1.6 two-wheel drive class where Ronnie Busted was the man to beat in the number 72 XL. Busted won all three heat races, including the reverse grid race, where he started behind the Daihatsu Charade of Andrew Bergner and the Mitsubishi of Nathan Senior. He then went on to win the semi-final and the final to complete a perfect weekend. Finn and McCallan had looked to challenge his fellow XL pilot on pace early in the weekend and finished second in heat one before, unfortunately, mechanical drama struck and ended his time at Maroolan. There was great racing between Bergner and Senior throughout the heats. The little Daihatsu Charade GTI particularly impressive on debut, with second in heats two and three and the semi-final. He would unfortunately miss the final though, which saw Busted Head Senior home to take out round two. In the open two-wheel drive class and on a rear-wheel drive friendly circuit, it would be a pitched battle between the pair of Ford Escorts. Orders would challenge defending champion Conway hard all day and lead him at times, the pair swapping positions throughout the heat races as they battled for the lead time and time again. It was terrific racing, though try as he might, Orders was unable to unseat Conway in their battle, the latter taking all three heats and the semi on his path to the class final. The front drive battle was just as tough between Scott Anderson and Kiwi Sloan Cox, the pair mixing it with the rear drive cars throughout the races. Through some close racing and solid use of the Joker lap, Anderson's Volkswagen had the early advantage finished third in heats one and two, but Cox continued to apply the pressure. He would get reward in heat three when he grabbed the final podium spot, while Anderson returned serve in the semi-final. Derek Reynolds' Dado was on track two and continued to improve, despite a minor spin in the semi-final. So it's all led up to this, the final for two-wheel drive in round two. 
The rxiles.com.au Australian Rallycross Championship. Richard Crown with you here at Maroolan. Recently rebuilt faster and more challenging than ever before. It's Mike Conway on pole on the inside. Will Orders on the outside. Scott Anderson, Sloan Cox and Derek Reynolds in behind. It's Conway who leads them through. Anderson looking up the inside of the red escort driven by Will Orders. He'll show the nose at turn two. But won't be able to get around because Orders held it wide on the outside there and gets better drive off of three and into four. Long sweeping left-hander. Transition to the dirt coming up. Orders struggling to get that Millington Escort turned in. And it's a car length buffer for Mike Conway early. Anderson just checks up a little bit. Sloan Cox looking up the inside. Tricky dirt section at this scenic raceway to be renamed Pheasant Wood in the very near future. There's the young Kiwi, the Oz staff Ford Fiesta. This car's been driven by Troy Dow in the past and has proven to be very competitive. Lap one of six, Joe Collap, you can see it, the back of shot. And it's being used by Scott Anderson early in the race. So he's ticked that box. You only need to do that once in every RX Oz race. He's done it. The track position game will play off later in the race when everyone else has to take the Joker lap. So Mike Conway, the two-wheel drive champion, great weekend at Winton in round one of the series back in February this year. Will Orders was front drive bound that weekend. He's rear drive now in that Millington Escort. It's a brand new car, just built up by the Active Rally Sports Squad. Beautiful piece of engineering. Orders used to four-wheel drive power in rallycross and rally competition. Coming up to speed and up to grips with the two-wheel drive, rear drive balance of these Mark II Escorts. Conway always seems to drive this thing in a beautiful controlled slide. That's the shot. Downhill. Great elevation change at this venue. Nestled in the woods just outside of Moreland and not far off the Hume Freeway. The run up to Sydney. It's about an hour and ten minutes out of Canberra. Both take the joker lap now, and that gives Sloan Cox some good track position. But the straight line performance of the two-wheel drive escort is such that Will Orders gets up the inside before they turn the cars into turn one. So it's a faster exit off the joker. You get such good drive out of there, it gives you more straight line speed. The approach speed for turn one is higher, so you've got to be careful with your braking. Nicely done by Orders. He holds on to second place. He has lost net ground, though, to Mike Conway. Sloan Cox will really be racing Scotty Anderson there in the VW Polo in behind. This revised layout really suiting the rear-wheel drive cars. The flow and the balance that they've got. He gates the understeer through those long, sweeping corners. That's the margin first to second there. Second to third. Cox hanging on to the back. This impressive young Kiwi racing with Troy Dow in the RX Academy over in Sweden and posting some really strong results in his opening foray earlier this year. Escort 1. Escort 2. Fiesta next and then Volkswagen Polo next. Halfway through. Final race. Round 2 RX Oz. Australian Rallycross Championship really in the early stages of the championship. Lots to come. A couple of visits to Winton Motor Raceway. We head to the Bend in South Australia for the first time on a purpose-built rallycross venue as well. That's going to be really exciting. We're back at Maroolan, in this venue in August, and I'm sure by then it's going to look very, very different. This is the first ever race meeting on this revised layout. This brilliant new dirt section. It's a tight hairpin. They use the handbrake to rotate the car through the right-hander, and there's another tight complex that brings them back onto the bitumen at the top of the circuit. That's where they are now. Orders with long-term plans to get back into four-wheel drive competition in his fire-breathing Evo. But at the moment, I think enjoying the challenge. And I tell you what, the benchmark he's got in two-wheel drive is the best around. Mike Conway, the champion. So much success last year. So Joker Lap now for Sloan Cox. You can see at the top of your screen... That'll get him out in front of Scott Anderson quite comfortably. So he's got a really nice margin. The battle for third and fourth. 
We saw throughout the heat races, it's been a tale of two categories in two-wheel drive. The front-wheel drive cars fighting it out for third and fourth. This tractor suits the two-wheel drive cars, and they've had a little bit of a pace advantage. About a second a lap over a race distance. So Conway just managing this margin out in front. We've got the young family here with him this weekend. Continuing to work and develop on this car, which had a big upgrade throughout the championship last year and got so much quicker as the season went on. He's a guy with a lot of tarmac racing experience. Great style. Drives this car really well. And Order's just managing that margin now first to second. That was Sloan Cox. You can see him in third and behind him, Scotty Anderson. Long time racer. Great to see him back in the championship this year after a couple of really stout outings in the V-Dub last season. One to go in round two of the championship. And barring any misfortune on the final lap, it's going to be a crushing display for Mike Conway with another round victory to extend his championship lead. Great, hard, close and competitive racing throughout the heats between these two orders through everything he could tried to wrestle the lead away a couple of occasions did so just couldn't quite hold on the raw speed of the vastly experienced Mike Conway was enough to hold it on just coming up to Derek Reynolds who continues to chip away in the Datto 1600 up through the dirt section this might allow orders just to have a bit of a sniff in the final corner oh, Derek does the right thing jumps out of the way the margin has come right down Will with his customary exuberant driving style sliding the Millington Escort around. So final few corners. Mike Conway, a superb performance. Three heat victories, a win in the semi-final. And the final at round two goes the way of the Ford Escort driver. It's a one-two for the Escorts, in fact. Mike Conway, the winner here at Marauder for round two. Order second, Sloan Cox, what a performance on debut. He's third get some championship points as well the series standings led by Conway a handy little margin to orders Nathan Senior leads Ronnie Busted in the under 1.6 litre class that's it for round 2 of the championship, we're at Winton in July for round 3, we hope to see you there